Yeah, I couldn't have gone too much better than that. Yeah, like, this my best time ever on that level was only 16 seconds spot. better. And there's a lot of fighting and stuff. And, and ducking to not get killed, you know. I think my best time ever was last week. Maybe... I forget if it was Saturday or Sunday. When I set that best time on Montenegro train. So there on that first guy, you automatically lock on to him. When you just press aim down sights, which is really nice. If I go back there like that, it then the first window... I can just go right past and it won't matter because generally he would they would be um, shooting at me already but when you do that and it kind of makes them just delay a bit that's close to death but there's no one shooting at him reloading is the same button as, as pressing objects often which sucks see all those guys just spawn, right? And I can always anticipate they'll be spawning right there. And the guy will spawn right behind me. Yeah, and then these guys here, and then one more guy here. And then, these guys will come through the door at the end of this music queue. And we'll do that. And then I'll put on a suppressor here. And I'll wait here. So don't trigger them until the end of their dialogue. Then I'll kill them. Take a hundred million at least. And this is how the ship expects to get back our money. He is a desperate man. Yeah. So that's clean. And then it doesn't show those those hints there to press A to jump over because I just hold A before them and then it just does it as soon as you can. You don't have to spam it. Which is really nice. Okay, they didn't trigger any guards because I shot them both quick enough. Oh yeah, I haven't talked about, I do some strafe jumping. Basically this is built on the quake engine and you, when you go diagonally that and like when you move um, when you look around and move, then it like gives you boosted speed. When you jump, it always keeps your same speed. You can't gain or lose speed while in the air. So we jump to maintain the speed when when we're strafing. It's really cool. So that's just how movement works. So those guys are all dead, right? Yeah. And then these guys will spawn in these exact places. And then guys will spawn spawn behind me here. I actually did this poorly. I usually do this a bit more optimized. Okay, there's one more guy there. Okay, they're all dead. Now, guys will spawn here. And one more. There he is. Okay. Now, I go here. And then you can just open this door, and I'll just kill him. And I'll be walking past, so I don't trigger any melees. 
take the stairs. Because melees are slower. They just make you stop. They take a long time. There's a big animation. It really sucks. Big fight now. Longest fight in the game. The last fight. This fight. Yeah. And there are also two mashes that I can dodge. But all the other buttons I press. And then there's one last mash at the end. If you miss it, you lose the whole thing. You have to start this fist fight from the beginning. It really sucks. And I've had that happen to me multiple times. It's lost me a lot of time in runs. Because this fight takes more than a minute. It's like a minute and a half. So I'm pretty close to it. One more press. Okay, now it's the mash. And then level's over. So if you press the wrong button there, or don't mash enough to do it right, then you start this whole fist fight from the beginning. But I did it well. <laughs> 